Hi. Um, at the moment, I'm working on this painting, and what you see here is the underpainting. So, my painting technique is based on the old masters, and before I apply colors, I make an underpainting. And uh, these colors are mainly brownish, yellowish. So, I will put another video on YouTube to show you how I made the underpainting. Um, I'm not going to show you the complete painting process because when I paint something like this I would like to paint freely and not have a camera rolling all the time. Um, but I, in the future I will make some demonstrations uh, for YouTube. But uh, videos like these are a sort of snapshot so to speak of what I'm doing and um, these are straight from my own painting practice so if you want to learn more about someone's painting practice this is what I actually <laughs> do so this is not tailor-made for YouTube or anything but this is a painting I wanted to make based on an old photograph that I once made of a model and um, let me first show you the colors that I'm using on my palette. Um, here I have uh, ultramarine blue, uh, ivory black, raw amber, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, vermilion, titanium white. That's what I'm using and I am used to these colors so I feel, so to speak, at home with this palette. I, I like these colors and uh, as you can see from left to right they are from dark to brighter but also the, the, the colors are brighter on the right. So when you are um, mixing colors it's very organic. In, in nature when an object gets more light the colors become brighter. Uh, more saturation and the uh, order in which these pigments, these colors on the on the palette are placed mimics that uh, that law of nature, so to speak. So uh, in that way, um, I, I I like this approach and this is more or less a palette which the old masters used when you look at old paintings by Rembrandt or students of Rembrandt or 17th century masters in general you see something similar Velasquez, Aarte Gelder, um, Rembrandt himself, um, other people they use something like this so um, you can try this and you see that I put them on a grey plastic sheet um, and the reason that I do not put these colors on a white ground is because on this white ground and um, I have not put these colors on this exactly but you can see that everything is dark compared to this white when you look at this but on this gray ground um, you can see more the, 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 the differences between those colors um, and tonally uh, you know some some colors are darker than the gray and some some are lighter than the gray so um, I do not paint on a white surface either so I, I see on the palette when I am mixing the colors so more the effect that the colors will have on the painting when the palette itself is of a mid-tone. It's not the same as the painting, but it's more convenient to, to use it this way. Um, I made for myself a little plan because I've already, of course, painted the underpainting, but now I want to do, I want to work in a certain order um, and uh, First I want to paint the face in skin tones, also the arm that you see. So first I will do this and that and 
um, then I will proceed with the background. So, um, so the main effect of the painting is in its place, the, the, the face against the background. And you, you already see this clothing, which gets the highest light in this case. That I will do after that. Um, then I will do the, the hairs, the hair. And the hair is very dark, is I think more the, 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 the darkest area in general of the painting. And then I will do details of the face. Uh, the eyes, the mouth, um, and after that I will put details on the clothing. So this is my plans to 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 to, to go for the main effect first, then uh, go into detail, and along the way I can improvise when when I think it's suit, suited. But when I have done this, when the painting is painted in general in that way I can after this plan more or less I can uh, see what I'm going to do next to, to, to finish the painting and it's a plan it's something to hold on to uh, nothing ever goes 100% according to plan but um, it's a way of, of you know, getting through this process uh, in a in an orderly way, more or less, because a painting like this can be quite complicated uh, when you do it properly. Um, and uh, yeah, this is of course based on the girl with the pearl earring, um, the lighting. Um, she's looking more sen sensual than the girl with the pearl earring. And uh, I think the model is older as well than the girl with the pearl earring. But, um, and, and she is uh, darker. And I really like that, that it's a sort of a variation on the girl with the pearl earring, but not exactly the same. So it's just uh, my, my, my little uh, tribute to my favorite painter, Johannes Vermeer. Um, and uh, I will make another video when this is uh, in, a, in, a, in a further stage. Thank you for watching.